I saw this picture online of a vegan Reuben and I wanted to try and recreate it. Um, I'm making seitan for the Reuben part of it. I'm gonna kind of make it like meaty um, and then some tomato paste for like an umami flavor. Of, um, I'm gonna add some garlic, some other things. A full recipe in the description. The thing that made this picture so cool, it was so bright, like it was very pink, like actual roast beef is. Like, oh, how do you do this? And the person was like, oh, it's a tan, but it's, it's got, it's got like, beet juice in it. And I was like, I boiled some beets and I added that water in. And it looked really good. I mean, just check this out. It looks vibrant, pink. And then I cooked it and it was just kind of like gray, but it's fine. You know, it is what it is. And so I'm trying, I'm slicing it and it's really hot. So I was having trouble slicing it really thick because I was impatient. A Reuben, you gotta have rye. You gotta have... I think it's Swiss cheese. I'm just I'm just using this cheese. It's great. And then sauerkraut, which I forgot that there was sauerkraut in a room, but anyway, get that sauerkraut. And then you're supposed to butter one piece of the bread and then mayo the other piece of the bread. So I'm doing all this. And then I'll put it on the grill. And it was it was fine. It was a little too chewy on the seitan side of things. And then a friend of mine was like, hey, if you're making seitan, after you finish boiling it, you have to slice it and then cook it in a pan and then add it. So you kind of like double cook it. And I tried that and it was way better. The texture of the seitan after cooking it in the frying pan, way better. So anyway, be sure to like do the subscribes and the likes and the, the YouTube things. Um, and uh, cause I do this every week.